Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swooshing and Reviewing Disney. There was two day trades in Disney Friday and an option that was already called on the 9th, which was here. Uh, but Disney is a great example of really how to utilize my system for profit because uh, this was a bullish gap for the day trades and then it was a bullish gap for the option trade call. And it was, it was just a huge trade for both, no matter what you did. Two day trades, one day trade, the option trade, everything. And I will tell you that uh, there was a lot to learn from this gap because many, many, many day traders attempted to short Disney in the huge gap up that it had on Friday and failed, failed. You would have lost if you shorted this stock. This stock was a long, this stock is a buy. Um, it was a buy before even Friday, which is one of the reasons why I call the option trade here. So I called the 120 calls expiring 426 on this day. And it was late actually, but it gapped up in here fell on this day and had a huge move here. So it closed the night before at 116.60 and it opened the following morning at 127.90. A giant mungo move, 11 points up. And then on top of that, guess what? It was a day trade long. And you could have you could have traded this all day. I mean, quite frankly here. You could have traded this in the morning. So we were, we did this here and then here. And then that was it. But you could have actually gone back into it here I mean, what a move in this stock. You could have done this three or four times on Friday as a day trade besides the option trade. The big trade was the option, simply because the cost of the calls that I called on the 9th was so cheap. Anywhere you got filled between 80, 90 cents was so cheap, and they were worth between nine and 11 something when you rolled out of bed on Friday morning. So one of the benefits of doing day trading is you have the money right away, and it's booked and you know it and you know everything before four o'clock. One of the benefits of options trades is that you don't have to use margin to trade stocks that are expensive like Disney, which is expensive in the sense that some people um, you know, can't afford to, to day trade this with margin at over $100 per share. Now it's up at 130, but you don't need margin to do options. So you could have taken you know, an $80 risk in this and made almost $1,000 with the option trade I called. So big gain, small risk in the option without margin if the stock moves in your direction, which in this case it did. So there's there's pros and benefits, but of course you would have had to wait a couple of days for this to go and you would have been down in it a little bit before it went. So there are pluses and minuses to everything you do. I think the best thing that you can do is follow a system and a strategy that directs you what's going to happen so, so I tell people, you gotta be a little patient sometimes with the options. Day trading, you don't really wanna be patient. You wanna grab it and take it at the exact right moment, which obviously is a benefit of being in the trading room with me because we were just right on top of this here, right in the morning. But again, looking back, you could have done this later in the day. So nice bullish move in Disney. Stock is higher, higher. Uh, so if you're interested in more information, the next Golden Gap course is April 27th and 28th. And if you'd like to sign up for the options newsletter, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great, great week, everyone. Uh, happy holidays to everyone this week. It's going to be an exciting, exciting earnings season.